good evening all i welcome you all for today's session that is inter process communication which is represented as ipc inter process communication is a cornerstone of modern operating system which that allowing processes to collaborate share data and synchronize their activities with each other the choice of ipc that is inter process communication method depends on the specific requirements of the processes and the environment in which they operate so a process can be of two types as we discussed in the previous class one is independent process and another one is cooperating process an independent process is not affected by the execution of other processes and a cooperating process can be affected by other executing process so inter process communication is a mechanism that allows the process to communicate with each other and synchronize their actions the communication between these process can be seen as a method of cooperation between them so the process can communicate with each other through shared memory and message passing so this is the structure of shared memory and message passing so what is shared memory and what is message processing so to execute see this uh, shared memory here we have um, for example processor a processor b okay we are having two type of processors that is a and b so if both the processors a and b are sharing the same memory then it is said to be a shared memory message okay so here so in two types one is shared and message passing is shared is independent dependent and message as i said we have two types one is independent and another one is cooperating here your message passing is independent process and shared memory is a cooperating process because in shared memory you have a common memory which is accessed by if you have two processors processor a and processor b in shared memory the data is accessed by the common memory so both processor a and processor b are sharing same memory okay but in um, message sharing it is not like that in message sharing it doesn't depends on any processor the processor no need any controller to transfer data from a transmitter to receiver so directly it can share the message as you can see this is the structure of your message sharing which consists of sending process and receiving process here also you have a message passing section and here also message passing section and at last you have the message and also how it can be shared so here you don't have any controller for to support this data which is to be shared from transmitter to receiver okay directly the data is are transferred from transmitter to receiver so like an independent process which is not affected by the execution of other process from the word itself we can understand that independent means it doesn't depend on any other processes other processes operation will not affect this independent process and uh, inter process communication is also a mechanism that allows the processes to communicate with each other and synchronize their actions so these two types that is shared memory and message processing or of type inter process communication whereas shared memory is said to be as um, uh, shared memory is said to be as co operating process and message sharing memory is said to be as independent independent process okay so the difference between so the difference between says uh, uh, um, the difference between the inter process uh, that is independent um, independent messaging and co processor managing can be explained here as message sharing process and uh, shared message process okay whereas uh, which consists of two process process a and process b which both processor a and processor b are shared with the common memory a also can share the memory from uh, mem can share the memory and b also can share the memory in between there is a gap which is named as 
memory gap which is named as memory gap so this is all about our interprocess communication thank you